Hey, what's up you guys? It's Ruthie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go into chapter 31 of Speak by Lori Hals Anderson. Um, we are chugging along through this book and um, yeah, we'll see if we can finish it off today or not. So let's get right into this. This video may contain sensitive topics and foul language. If you do not wish to continue, please click off of the video now. You have been warned. Chapter 31, Peeled and Cored. We are studying fruit and biology. Miss Keene has spent a week teaching us the finer points in, of stamens and pis, pistils, seed pods and flowers. The earth has frozen its snow lightly at night, but Miss Keene is determined to keep spring alive in her classroom. The back row sleeps until she points out that apples, trees need bees to reproduce. Reproduce is a trigger word for the back row. They have figured it out. It is related to sex. The lecture on pistols and stamens turns into a big ha-ha. Miss Keene has been teaching since the Middle Ages. It would take more than a row full of overheated hypothalamuses to distract her from the day's lesson. She calmly proceeds to the hands-on portion of the lab. Apples. We each get a Rome or a Cortland or a Macintosh and a plastic knife. We are instructed to dissect the, the back row holds sword fights. Miss Keene silently writes their names on the blackboard along with their current grade. She takes one point off for every minute. The sword fight continues. They go on from low Bs to very low Cs before they figure out what's going on. They howl. That's not fair. You can't do that to us. You didn't give us a chance. She takes off another point. They saw their apples. Mutter, mutter, curse, curse, old cow, stupid teacher. David Petrakis, my lab partner, cuts his apple into eight equal wedges. He doesn't say a word. He is in the middle of pre-med week. David can't make up his mind between pre-med and pre-law. Ninth grade is a minor inconvenience to him. A zit cream commercial before the feature film of life. Apple smell soak the air. One time when I was little, my parents took me to an orchard. Daddy set me high in an apple tree. It was like falling out, falling up into a storybook. Yummy and red and leaf and branch not shaking a bit. Bees bumbled through the air so stuffed with apple they couldn't be bothered to sting me. The sun warmed my hair and the wind pushed my mother into my father's arms and all the apple picking parents and children smiled for a long, long minute. That's how biology class smells. I bite my apple with white teeth, red apple, hard juice, deep bite. David sputters, you're not supposed to do that. She'll kill you. You're not, you're, you're supposed to cut it. Didn't you even listen? You'll lose points. Clearly, David missed the apple tree sitting requirement of childhood. I cut the rest of my apple into four fat pieces. My apple has 12 seeds. One of the seeds is split its shell and reaches a white hand upward, an apple tree growing from the apple seed growing in an apple. I show the little plant seed to Mrs. Keene. She gives me extra credit. David rolls his eyes. Biology is so cool. That is the end of this chapter. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.